Okay, so you have to open two, so both uh, instances, instances of packet tracer. To configure multi-user, you go to the extension and you click multi-user. Okay, when you are there, you for uh, click listen, you choose listen, and here it gives you, this is your IP address, very important, and a port number that it will listen, uh, uh, listen to any request. So here you just leave the port number as it is, okay? And by default, the password is Cisco. You can change it. So I'm just gonna change it to class. And here, existing remote network, new remote networks, if you choose always accept, when somebody connect to your network, they will be connected without any prompt or without any uh, permission. So if you choose always accept, I choose always accept. And then uh, always deny that nobody can connect to your network. Or you can choose prompt, meaning uh, it will prompt you that somebody wants to connect to your network and you have to give the permission. So that's it. That's all you have to do here, okay? And then you click okay. So port number, this is the IP address that the other person will use to connect to you and the password. So we, by default, this is Cisco, we change it to class. And we click okay. Now we go to the other one. Do the same thing here. We go to multi-user listen as you can see the port number is different here because it's 38,000 uh, because we have two uh, instances of packet tracer running so one is 38,000 38001 and one is 38,000 and here the IP address is the same so we'll choose we leave the port number as it is and here by default it's Cisco, so we will choose it, but we change it to class. So, so here too, we're gonna change the IP address to class. And that's it. Now, so let's create a topology, two topology. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have here a switch, 2960, and it's connected to a PC. Let's see, and then we will connect PC to the switch. So it's connect to the one port, any port, and I'll assign an IP address to test, to connect to the other side. So go to the desktop, IP address is 192.168. So this is the topology. I'm just creating a topology here and to see if we can connect to the other side. So we just have uh, an IP address here. And on the other side, we'll have a PC. And let's see if we can connect this PC to this switch on the other side. Okay. So let's say this is David's switch and this is computer. This is uh, topology is on what this does computer and he's connecting this to the switch here. So, so we have a switch on one side and we have a computer and we're gonna connect this computer to the switch. So now this is the topology and now we have to configure uh, multi-user. So here is, you see multi-user icon, you click on it, choose multi-user. Same thing on the other side. Now, one has to be incoming connection and the other has to be outgoing connection and you can choose 
anyone can be in connect so when you're working with a partner you choose who will be accepting coming connection and who will be the outgoing connection it could be anybody all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose this as incoming so by default use global multi user password which is cisco but we change it to class So we, we are here to accept incoming connection, okay? Now we go to the other side and this will be an outgoing connection. In the outgoing connection, you have to uh, uh, supply your peer address, pass uh, uh, IP address, which is uh, IP address of here, uh, port number, uh, peer network's name, which is here, peer zero, and the password, which was the class. So let's see what is the IP address here. So we can see the IP address here on the listening. So it's 192.162.120. And the port number is 38001. Peer network name is peer zero and it's case sensitive, remember. So it's And the password is class. Okay. So we are able to connect. Now the goal is to connect this PC to the switch on a port. Okay. So we will choose the cable. Fast Ethernet. And we click here. You see, it does not show any port here. So what you have to do is, it's supposed to show all the ports on the switch so you can connect to. The reason it does not show any port because you have to configure it here, where the switch is. So you click on extension, you click on multi-user, and you choose port visibility. So it shows all the port of the switches. Okay, so I'm um, choose either you can choose all the ports here, or you can choose individual like in uh, ports, uh, individual ports. So here it is. I'm going to choose one, two, three, four, five ports, fast Ethernet, and two gigabit. Let's see if we can see it here. So you see, we can see the port now on the other. So which port we will be connecting to. So I'm gonna connect to switch zero. Now what was the IP address here? 2.1. Let's assign an IP address to this computer and see if can. 192, 192, 168, 2 Go to desktop, There you go. So it's successful. So here, as you can see, so two 
these are two instances, so you create a network. You can do lab with, let's say, five routers or six routers. So David is configuring three routers and uh, Bradley is con uh, configuring three other routers. You can also work uh, not just two people. You can work with uh, maybe three or four. Okay, so this is what what we do in uh, in the lab when when we're in the school instead of uh, going to the lab because we don't have enough equipment in 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 the lab. 